Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 39 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. And this is a bit of a special one, because we're going to be activating the Tourist Season DLC. Now, I've played this once before during a stream and in preparation for my review, which is already up on my main channel as a recording. So if you're looking for a quicker breakdown of the DLC and all the features it entails, please check the description or the top comment to this video for that 13-minute review. All right, let's begin. Now, I've also just wanted to mention that I've just activated the DLC literally just 10 seconds ago for this Let's Play save that we have here. So we should see Emma the Tourist pop up any moment and introduce us to the Tourist Season DLC. I've also raised the volume of her voice in general so that I can just kind of stay quiet. You guys can hopefully get the experience firsthand. All right, let's go. met before, have we? I'm a tourist, a holiday maker, if you will, and I've plans to spend my vacation here. Also, it's worth mentioning, whatever we were doing before, forget it. I'll get back to it eventually. I can't even remember, to be honest. I've had so many different sessions of this game for the review and other games and stuff that I've been covering that I'm just, I've blanked out on a lot of what we were doing over on um, Crown Farms, but no doubt, rest assured, we will get back to it. Such a quaint place you have. It could be such a success with people like me. How dare you? This you place need is majestic. To your public mooring. It's a tad drab for tourists. Well, they're living it. The visitors, the daily visitors. Alone and level sands. Oh, I completely forgot about this. But what of beyond the sands? What pale walls and statues still stand? What king caught in the glory of his pride? So, I forgot about this, I genuinely, I haven't done it and I haven't seen it, so I don't want anyone to spoil it for me, but Emperor Katima has been updated, or rather Land of Lines has been updated, to provide an additional quest for Emperor Katima. Um, so, no doubt, once we're done with tourism, or we've done kind of a lot of the main stuff, we can hop over there and see what's going on. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, so, actually, before I upgrade this tourism thing, uh, the public mooring, uh, let's just also talk really quickly about what's in the free update. So one of the big requested features that I had personally was to being able to repaint the natural forest that comes on islands uh, typically because once you wipe it it never comes back. But now we're able to just I forgot you did you? We're able to just lay out the trees whatever way we want, whatever type we want that's native to the actual um, continent you're on or region you're in. And then those trees will just slowly grow over a couple minutes to their full size and basically become like this again. So that's awesome, such a great feature, this is exactly why like parts of these cliffs and stuff are left that way so that hopefully one day we were able to do that, so I'm really happy that we've gotten there as well. And for the Research Institute, another Land of Lions quality of life update, if you have Land of Lions, in the Research Institute you can now queue up multiple items and when an item finishes you don't have to go up there and collect it manually, um, they just store it in the island's inventory which is nice. So. Our elephant's actually almost done in 50 seconds, and this is part of the Mayombo Woodland set. So I'm going to grab the Black Rhino as well, which I don't think we have. I hope not. Anyway, I'll, maybe I'll check that later. But we'll get the um, Black Rhino, and then after that, I've got plans to get rid of some oil spills, or move them, I should say. So we'll just queue up a few different ones there. Great, another a nice little quality of life feature. You just move them and drag them around if you want to reorder the queue, so that's always nice. And that'll just now continuously progress through multiple episodes. That's done in 20 seconds. Um, trying to think of what else has come for free as part of Game Update 11. I have no doubt there's probably many things, I just probably can't think of them immediately. Alright, so let's upgrade this. I'll just wait for this guy to finish because he's, he's going to interrupt whatever happens in four seconds. And... done. There we go. Discovery that just oozes <laughs> culture. <laughs> All right, straight over to the Black Rhino. I guess, you know what? I should have checked. Do we need it? I'll just quickly jump into this zoo here. Uh, there we go. No, so we don't have it right now, so we do need it. Good. All right, great. All right, so finally, let's upgrade and see what happens. So here we have Upgrade Tourist Mooring. Let's go. Tourists flock to city in droves. The recent unveiling of the spanking new tourist mooring has seen hordes of hungry holidaymakers stream into the city, requesting nothing but the finest hotels, food, and amenities. A sneak peek at one cruise ship's ledger reveals more than 60 nationalities represented on board. Awesome. 
We tourists are a demanding lot, but I'd be happy to help you navigate our needs, if that'd help. Yeah, we'll take on the tutorial, why not? It best explains everything to you guys so you're all on the same page as well. So the first tourist, build a hotel and build a bus stop to connect the hotel to the tourist mooring. You can find hotels and all other tourism related buildings in this spot, our new tourist tab. And there we go, we have hotel. I thought she was gonna pop up again, but I guess not. All right, so I haven't yet fully decided where things are gonna go. I won't take too long with this. I wanna get the gameplay moving, but generally speaking, I know that there is an Empire Tower monument, and the Empire Tower has this big radius around it that can actually extend the more tourists you have. Now, on this island, most of my residences live beyond the palace, right? So from this, if I was to draw a line here, on the right of this line is where most of the residences Your live. And then this is all scholars, the palace, and kind of beautiful, you know, museums, zoos, botanical gardens, and things like that. Now, the Empire Tower doesn't actually affect scholar households. So that means, really, it just needs to be somewhere in the center here. And luckily, there's a giant blank spot. <laughs> and it is honestly quite a big coincidence. I didn't plan for it to go there. I didn't know how big it was going to be or anything like that. But I'll probably end up putting it somewhere like here. And the reason I'm moving the oil spills is because I want to move these little, or springs, is because I want to move the oil springs, I don't know, somewhere down here to this little industrial section. And that way we can spill over some extra investors this way and maybe craft or create out a bigger section here for some hotels to wrap around the Empire Tower. Because ultimately, I want to have about 10 hotels on this island. That's what you need to get the full 5,000. 5,000 is the max range you can use for the Empire Tower. There's 500 in a hotel each, so, you know, 10 hotels is what we need in total. Now, they don't all have to be grouped together. That would, might look a bit weird, but a lot of them probably do want to be grouped together because they need to be covered by a bus stop, but we'll get to that later. But for now, <laughs> classic for now, I'm going to be putting it on this green and seeing if we can just cope and manage it here. Very luckily, this green is just the right size to fit hotels. Uh, again, didn't plan that, just happens to work there. During the stream, I actually ended up getting... Uh, rid of this section, just popping them here. But yeah, I'm not going to do that now. Too much work. Uh, we'll just add buildings rather than destroying previous ones. So we'll just add one for now. See how we go about that. Tear at last. Breakfast at nine, I assume. <laughs> Place bus stops so that the hotel and tourist mooring are within their area of effect. So very quickly, a bus stop essentially is has this radius of where tourists can go. So these buildings that are being lit up, these are all the buildings that tourists can then reach when they get to the bus stop, right? So think of it as like walking distance, that they're willing to walk from the bus stop out to these different things. Despite it having this blue line radius, you can actually overlap them. There's no, it's not like a trade union or a town hall. They can overlap. You can have them all in a big line if you wanted to. And they reach about 52 tiles, I think, out. So pretty, pretty far, generally speaking. Um, now, what I've, I did during the stream, and I think I'm pretty happy to have it there, is popped it right here in front of the annex, or I could maybe place it somewhere like along here. Um, so let's see, actually, just really quickly. If I drag that forward, could I get a road here? It would be kind of a key. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, actually. So let's just do this. This way I don't have to destroy the annex. I do like the look of it. And we can have a, a bus stop right there. The, the unfortunate thing here, though, eh, it's not going to work. It doesn't cover the botanical garden, which I really want covered. So I'm probably going to have to put it in front of the annex instead. So we'll take, we'll get rid of this for now. Maybe put down another annex somewhere else. It was nice having it there, but I like having the drink I stand and stuff here. Withstood an attack. So we'll have to think about it. Maybe the annex could go on this side. I don't know. Uh, right, so we'll just lay it out there. That's our first bus stop. And uh, we also now have a bunch of tourist ornaments. So what we could do to signify the bus, bus stop generally, pop down some trees and um, let's see what else, an ornate pavilion. I like at the back of it, we can have a wooden pavilion where people wait. Yeah, and they can kind of like watch the music and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. A lookout point. Oh, that actually would be pretty cool to look out. Which well, does it make sense here? It kind of does. You think it would make sense there? I think it would kind of make sense. Maybe I'll just push this forward then. I know it's not quite a hundred... Oh man, it would look so good over there. But it doesn't... You can't actually put it on key. So, this I can't bring it any closer than... The closest I could get it is these two tiles here. That's as close as we'll ever get. But I think there is fine. 
you know, you can see ships coming and going. Makes sense. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Just a couple little trees. Weirdly, you can't actually change the variation of these trees by pressing Shift V like you normally can, but if you rotate them, they change. Don't know why that's the case, but there you go. So if people are ever wondering how to change them, the uh, full stop and comma keys should do it. All right, so let's have a look at our bus stop. So we can actually name these. Um, yeah, I didn't really think of a name for the... We'll just call it the uh, palace entrance for now. <laughs> I always say for now, for now, for now, for now. I should make a t-shirt with for now on it. Uh, palace entrance. So we should come up with a name for land, like this landing area, you know, the the because obviously this is like the palace gardens. This is the palace aquarium, I guess. Maybe palace gardens Finally, would be good enough. We'll just leave it at the gardens for now. Get? And let's see if you guys can come up with a better name. Um, so, two, but yeah, I'll I'll just tell you what she's saying basically here. So we can see here at this particular bus stop. It has all of these different buildings that it can cover. So these are like the immunity buildings that we're covering right now. So right now we're covering a tourist mooring, we're covering a botanical garden, and a zoo. Those are the three things that are full. 100% coverage. They're loving life. They're all within this one bus stop's range. So the next bus stop I'm going to put down, I did this on stream, and again, just by chance is where I chose, and I'm pretty happy with it. We could go much excuse me, further, but I want to get coverage of the museum. So I'm going to place it here where I made previously sort of like a market stall. So I'm just going to get rid of the market stall. And we're going to put down a bus stop here. And again, so that we can maybe kind of spot it from afar, we could drop one of the little trees. Um, signs that point to hotels leading out that way. Some parasols. A souvenir shop. Yeah, you think you'd have one somewhere around here. Um... I don't know, actually, if it does fit necessarily. Souvenirs? Yeah, it probably does. Why not, while you're waiting? A, photo uh, a photography nook. Oh, and a map with an awning. Well, I feel like there's already a map kind of there. This city is a magnet for genius. Um, let's see. Ornate pavilion. Yeah, that can look kind of nice. Trying to think what else we have. We have all these lovely little parasols and stuff which really suit the restaurants. And then we've got luggage carts which really suit um, the hotels themselves. So I don't really want to be putting them next to a bus stop. But something for while people are waiting like a, lug a souvenir shop and stuff is pretty cool. Uh, a musician stage, street map, postcard vendor. A postcard vendor I think would, be a, would make sense as well. But I feel like we're cramming too much in there. Sorry for taking so long. Let's just fill this with a... Standard little area for people to sit. Oh, actually, I know I know a great one. Just because it's a bit dark here. Pop down the city lights. There we go. Loving it. Yeah, I'm going to do the same for the ornate pavilion. We'll use that somewhere else to just put a light down. That way this place is like relatively lit up and ready to go. So this is the... Again, naming these places doesn't actually do anything, but the, the inner palace... Um, and we could put down some extra stuff here in this zoo, in this museum. My PC is struggling to load things these days. Let's just go with something to raise the attraction value for now. Oops. Oh yeah, another quality of life feature is we now have the ability to go into slow motion. There we go. It doesn't feel that slow, but I guess it, it is. It, maybe it's half speed, I, I'm not too sure actually. But all, I think it could be because the sounds still play the exact same, so it makes you kind of tricks your mind into thinking like everything's the same. But it's a great feature. I know that a lot of people beg for active pause, where you can just pause the game and play it. Now you've got like kind of a nice way to do that. Our hotel, our first hotel, has completely crumbled because it didn't have a bus stop, uh, which is rather embarrassing. So hotels need to be in bus stop range. So maybe I'll just place one here. And that should cover all three. If we tilt it vertically, we seem to have coverage. That worked out well, actually. A new achievement. Busman's Holiday. So if we jump in real quickly. Oh, that is that's more uh, quality of life stuff. You can actually customize your profile, change your picture, and uh, change your travel. colors as well. Travel means adventure. Onward. Okay, cool. So, 
happiness needs. All of lots of these things are locked, even though we do have coverage of lots of different stuff. It's currently locked. So let's just go with the second one there. What can uh, I say? I'm the giving type. There we go. We got a bit of a gap between each one. Maybe we could go with um, a promenade between them. Could look quite nice. Yeah. Let's just get rid of that, and then here we can add in some it's a mercy to have your chairs for people to sit around. Oh, crap. Let's try to get it even. So, roughly about there. And... The press here reminds me of my own dabbling in journalism. All right, cool. There we go. Three hotels. I mean, they kind of overshadow the palace, to be honest. Oh, God. My PC is so struggling. It, the reason I'm late with episodes, I don't even want to talk about it just because I feel like Every people probably don't care. It's just more theater. excuses. But, we'll ignore any venue, but just really quickly, generally speaking, my PC is so on its last legs. But like I said in my little update video, for those who are following it, I've got a new one on the way. So hopefully in a couple weeks, this game should be running better, hopefully a little bit. Uh, well, ideally a lot, but some people are like, oh, you know, temper your expectations, it's not very optimized, it's probably not going to run that well, but we'll see. Should be running a lot smoother anyway. Um, so every tourist lives like a for good variety theater, but we'll ignore any uh, venue. It's crap, I missed that last little bit. Also, you can now collapse these things if you want, which is cool. Build bus stops to connect a hotel to a variety theater. Remember that you might need multiple bus stops to connect a variety theater to all hotels. Make sure that the green street overlays of all bus stops overlap. Right, so yeah, so let's just have a real quick look at what else is needed, right? So variety theater, restaurants, Docklands, uh, botanical garden, a cafe, a world's fair, a bar, and the Iron Tower. Now, you could get all those with a bus stop, fair enough, but they can't actually be accessed by people for a little while. Now, I'm going to have to catch up on some things here. Bread is completely imported, and it's actually required for uh, tourists. So I'm just going to bring in some extra bread. I don't know, like 400 or something. Should be plenty. Uh, I think we'll be able to keep up with the fur coats, but if not, we'll solve it later down the line. I'm trying to think what else I need. Don't really think I need anything else. I know that we're going to need cotton. Cotton fabric, weirdly. We don't need that much, actually, so really just one one run of that should be fine. Uh, this is full. That's okay as well. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything immediately? No. We'll see when we get the um, restaurants up and running what we need. Okay. Alright, so, we have our three hotels, we have our bus stop sitting outside here. Um, what we could do really quickly is just repaint some trees in. In fact, I kind of want to just dot them around. Sorry for the spam noise. You can drag and select, but I don't want to, I almost don't want too many. When you do that, it's like almost too dense. Uh, and then maybe let's just put down some extra things for these guys here as well. Okay, so basically just a little sign, just to tell you, like, off around the bridge is a certain thing. Um, what else could we have? Oh yeah, so this would be much nicer now to have, like, an ornate pavilion. Yellow parasols and then the iron tower kiosk. So let's put a pavilion right in there at the corner next to the water. It's kind of nice. And to be honest, we could just cover this now. Doesn't need to have anything too crazy. Oops. So there we go. We'll see the little buses pulling up. And uh, people actually line up in a line to get into them, which is pretty cool. Crowd behavior is like, never ceases to amaze me. All right, so with the tourist mooring, we're up to 45 um, tourists in total. Holy crap, the speed of that thing. Uh, then we need bread, and for supplying bread, you get 309 coins. So if we were just to <laughs> we have a look have at like, something to complain about. workers will pay four coins for bread, with the tourists, are going to pay 309, which I guess in, a, in some ways makes sense. First of all, there's way more tourists. And also, when you go on holiday, you end up spending ridiculous amounts of money in a cafe and just feel like the most basic things. Maybe it makes sense. But in terms of player, like 
gameplay, we, you just make so much money with this DLC so quickly. It's kind of ridiculous, to be quite frank. Uh, I've just noticed that my engineers are too high, so I'm just going to lower that back down. I'm, I'm in no rush for those items. All right, cool. It actually looks really good there at the front, I think. Considering that this was never that ornate to begin with, I think it's actually not, not, ter not a terribly bad idea putting it there. Um, and I love these little cherry blossom trees, because as soon as I spot them, I just know where all my bus stops are, so it's quite nice. Okay, so next up, we need to hook up a variety theater to a bus stop, and luckily our variety theater has got lots of room around it for different things. So I'm just going to remove... Yeah, I'm going to remove this statue. Just remove a few of those tiles there. And then drag that down, drag that down, and then we'll just pop a bus stop right here. And we'll get rid of one of these, I guess. So this is a drink stand, and yeah, I guess they don't really fit, actually, so we'll just get rid of them. And again, maybe here we could put down some parasols, might look a little bit nicer. Yeah, while people wait. No one thing, even if a hotel is connected. A flair for the audacious. Uh, even if a hotel is connected to a hotspot need by bus, the need might not be filled 100%. It's distance between if the distance is between them is too great. So essentially, our variety theater need here should be pretty great because the bus stop from there to there is really short. So we're basically right next to it. But if we were to build some hotels up here, they're going to say, like, no, 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 this is too far from there to that variety theater. But there are certain buildings, it doesn't matter how far you go. Um, I'm sure it probably does, maybe when it comes to Crown Falls, but on my island, at least, from what I tested, a public mooring, for instance, you can only have one for your island. Same goes for a World's Fair, same goes for a Dockland. So it's pretty generous with the range. Obviously, I understand uh, it's Carly's fair. Anger. But surely there are Obviously, it's fair that the strength through bus stops should reach the entire island. If you, can, if you can't move it, you know, you can't... But a variety theater isn't that strong, because you can put down multiple, so... It makes sense. So, that's looking good so far. We're already up to 195 in total, but our bread need has fallen away, so we'll have to just grow. What do we need to get to? We need to get to 250, then 300. So, while we're waiting for things to grow and Docklands to kick off its next um, trade in one second... Uh, there was some stuff I made uh, problems with with coffee, which is why we saw coffee running out again. And I think it's because I messed up the coffee route pretty badly, because we already get coffee in Crown Farms, and yet I was dumping coffee there. If anything, I actually need to pick up coffee there, uh, weirdly enough. So here we'll go with, get rid of all that, and we'll go with coffee. I really wish you could search here. I don't see why not. You can do it in other places, like on the expedition screen. So we'll just do that, and then we'll go with beans here. So basically, Cape Trelawney, or Crown Farms, produces extra beans. Um, but it also produces extra coffee. So if we have our three coffee routes here, we can just go and pick up a bunch more. So I'll hit accept on all of that, and then I'll just tell them to un uh, unload. Unload, that's fine. Is that all good? I think that's correct now. And I might add a fourth ship because now it's going to a, another region. So we'll add on... Mm, I don't want to add Eli's messenger. I use that for stuff. So we'll just accept it. We'll build some more ships. Uh, but just really quickly, you may have noticed these are full of coffee beans now. So we want to get here. Just ditch all of that. That's fine. <laughs> It'll go faster as well. And then the Folgers. Folgers is on its way. Okay. So I'll just hop into the trade menu again and just say, you know what? Folgers, just pause, and it'll just stop when it gets to the New World, and we'll fix it there. Um, so what else? I feel like I was supposed to do something over here. Oh yeah, make some ships. <laughs> I just said it. Alright, let's do that then. Ah, we cannot. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do this. Um, people have given me nice solutions of how to just store up... So like, if I pause this building... Basically, if I run the building, we make too many steam carriages. If I pause the building, we have loads of steam motors. I could just adjust the productivity rates to get it the way I want, or people were saying like, oh, you can get certain items that mean you don't even need steam steam motors and stuff like that, but it's fine. Just don't don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Pausing it for like a couple minutes every now and then is a, like to say. Exactly. It's, it's just how we've always done it, and that's how we're always going to do it. <laughs> because I'm all for automation. And really, we should be storing some. But the, generally speaking, 
I don't actually have to build ships very often or uh, set up new bright harvest things, you know. After I've kind of, like, I feel like another couple hundred steam motors and I'll probably never need any again. Unless you need them for the high life or something. So I, I understand that it's not ideal, but it's, it's also not a massive problem. Anyway, we're building that extra ship. We just need one more steam um, motor. We make them over here, I think. Make them pretty fast. It just takes a while. That didn't make any sense, did it? It makes them pretty fast. It takes a while. Restaurant, <laughs> but we'll need an omnibus to get there. Couldn't have us walking there now, could we? I think I love her, even though I hate her. I hate her deep down because of the way she is. But I think I love her. Hang on one second. I forgot to check that newspaper. What happened? Ah, yep. polished app. Busted. Got away with it. A 10% increased needs for the coffee shortage. While well, we're fixing it. All right, so calm down. All right, anyway, we've got our steam motors. You can continue doing your thing. Indeed. All right, so we must have hit the next milestone so we can actually get um, restaurants now. So yeah, bread is coming up. Bread should be fine. We're up to, uh, yeah, 288 customers or tourists. Uh, also, by the way, some people were mentioning that in the Arctic, to get more gas, just increase the um, work conditions or the productivity. You can't do that for technicians. It doesn't let you. So this is my best solution until, yeah, other people also mentioned, like, you could get two of these that clip. This is like um, technique that people do where they just overlap the things ever so slightly. Because two rings could overlap the same building. Like, if we were to look at this building that I'm hovering over here, like, coverage starts, like, there, for instance. And the other circle might, the coverage might start, like, here. I don't know. I'm not making a good example. But there are certain buildings. I think gas mines work because they're relatively square. So you can hit them from two different angles by clipping. So there, there are things you could do like that to get, like, to really push it. But, you know, I'm okay, though. <laughs> I have seen these things. Um, and I do see optimal layouts and stuff. People post them to me and, and everything. It's just not always, not always my style. Um, I'm just really picky. Picky and choosy with those things sometimes. I don't know why, why I'm like that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get rid of that road. And we'll just pop this back. And then we'll start laying out where our first uh, restaurants are going to go. All right, everything's looking good in swords. And our population should start climbing up again. Let's go over to the new world really quickly and just fix that ship. That was paused. A competitor's island is under sea. So I have no idea where this ship is going. I paused it and it's just heading off in a random direction. It should be going here. If anywhere. But anyway, I'll just dump all that and then hit play and it should get back on course. Uh, so just want to check that route. I've told them to throw that stuff overboard if they can't unload it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're picking up a bunch of stuff there. I don't know why it's on discard cargo. You don't need to do that. Wait to unload at swords. Oh man, they're on wait to unload before. They never would have even made it. Anyway, so, so many problems with that route. No, we don't need to do any of that. So the only thing I need to do then is jump over to Crown Farms and just quickly set a limit to the coffee so that we don't take too much. Um, where's our thing? It's over here. Uh, speaking of low bread, we're low over here actually for it. Man, I feel like I'm so blind. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just set a minimum of 200. So we've got loads. We've got 2,000, so. It's a, actually, you know what? Let's set a limit of 1,000. I like it. Big limits are better. Okay. Um, right, so back to tourism. Alright, there we go. So let's have a look at our hotels again, see where we're at. So variety theater. So basically, next thing is setting up a restaurant. So we're going to have to clear some area for just like a bunch of amenity buildings uh, or restaurants, I suppose. They don't necessarily, they need to be within a hotel's reach or sorry, a bus stop's reach, but not within a hotel's reach. Um, see, this is the kind of thing where I'd love to do a time lapse later down the line. I just want to progress through the gameplay a bit. I'm already super slow as it is. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably just clear out this area and make a plaza. Um, so we'll just move those things. 
So we'll find a new area for them to go. I'm just trying to think exactly where they could go. Yep, yeah, I guess we'll just stick them down here. I had um, town halls temporarily placed there for that in the future, so let's just do that now. My only fear would be that they don't have access to a we bank or something. They seem to have power has full access out, out this way as well, so that's all good. Hmm. It's quite an odd shape, this little uh, junction, actually. Yeah. It's annoying. It's just the way it happens to... Unless... Can that railway fit this way? Can it? Oh, it can. Nice. There we go. Just something like that because um, I might do something else with this town hall. Like pop it there. And then, uh, yeah, let's just add another... Another tier at the back here. Unfortunately, again, we're a little tight on space. Trying to think, how does this, how is this working out? Okay. It's so messy. Okay, good. That's better. I guess ultimately, if I just do this, it'll look a little bit nicer. So let's do that. Let's do that. And let's cut it there. Alright, sorry about that, but at least this gives us a nice, even space for the final houses to go all the way out to the edge there. Okay. And these ones can actually extend a bit further along, I think, can they? No, they can't. Okay. Alright, two little blocks there. I won't put anything there for now. We can probably move this just along here and set up another block. Again, probably just do it. There's only three houses to go now. It's going to affect the population a little bit, I think. Oh, no, it won't. Actually, it's okay. All right, cool. So now we've got this little plaza area. We can put down some... Uh, what you call it? Some restaurants. Something like that. Right in front of the hotels. All right, cool. That took ages. Um, let's do it out though. So restaurants, food and drink, and we have all the different recipes to satisfy the, the tourists' demands. Uh, so let's see. It also ultimately needs to connect to a road, and we need An a explosion in one of your factories. Uh, we need a warehouse as well. Explosion in one of the factories. This one. Okay. There's a warehouse right there. I'm assuming that that can probably reach restaurants out here. Competitor's Island is under siege. Alright, restaurants are like our new public At building type. They act like public services but consume input. And taste. Let us pay our devotions then. I guess there's no reason not to, like based on how it looks, no reason not to just put it against it. I was going to surround it with white tiles, but ultimately it does need to hit a road. So, there's actually not that much you can do with it. Sorry, bus. It just drives into the river. Plows into the river. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think where's the next thing gonna go because we're gonna get a bar and a cafe as well. I guess we'll just leave it like that for now. We can then just lay all this out like that and say, look, this is a big plaza that we'll use a bit later. Ship constructed. All right, so let's have a look at the building. So the restaurant is that the entrance there? Yeah, it looks like it, right? So let's rotate this around. So there we go. So we have our little dining area uh, downstairs. The chairs are up at the moment as the building is not operational. That's a pretty cool little uh, touch that they've added. And we're facing right across from the hotel, basically. And the bus stop, actually. Um... So, choose the dish of the day for the restaurant. Connect the restaurant to bus stops to fulfill the restaurant needs. So it's right next to a bus stop. Bus stop should be able to cover any cafes or things that we end up putting in there as well. This should give them full restaurant coverage once we select something. So we're going to call the restaurant... Um, I have no idea. Oh, actually... Schlongs... <laughs> Call it Herman the German. That was actually was a, a no joke. That was um, not a restaurant, but it was like a food stand when I went to college. <laughs> it's the crowd, the culture, the flair, and the elegance of it all. So here you can see all the available recipes. There's five recipes in total. Two of them are DLC. So DLC on top of DLC. This is um, venison on croute is for the Arctic, and lobster kemene is for land of lines. So we'll start with the Archduke Schnitzel. The heart or stomach of any decent city, restaurants provide much needed culinary ent entertainment to passing tourists. Their expert chefs provide flexible menus using nothing but the best ingredients. Let's go. Must fetch Jemima and sample this new dish. Oh, sorry. I meant to actually look at it. You can flick through them. So this is going to require pigs, potatoes, and tallow. So we actually have tallow, pigs, and potatoes on the island already, which is quite nice. Uh, that's going to give us a bonus effect when it's chosen of negative 25% bread consumption, negative 35% fish consumption, and negative 10% chocolate consumption. Um, and it affects all Old World residences, so I assume hotels as well, because they consume bread, right? So that's our dish of the day. And that's going to affect quite a wide range of houses, actually, all the way around it. Now, these buildings can overlap, and but... They can't stack, so if I had two Archduke Schnitzels, we're not going to suddenly get reduced, you know, negative 50% bread. But um, once the building is actually operational, then you can see you'll get a little modifier here on the house itself, and all the houses that are being affected will turn a different color. This is why um, it's a good idea to have these. We want to have some restaurants probably out this way. I haven't looked through all the recipes to see exactly... Like bread, fish, you know, that's those are commoner foods that the workers are going to be benefiting from reducing so having a nice restaurant serving the archduke schnitzel out here somewhere and look at this we can get rid of this park and slam one down there maybe uh, it's, it's a bit on the left we'd want it to be a bit more central maybe we could get rid of that bakery uh, even though it was a bit of a staple but a little cafe or restaurant here i think would be quite good um and we certainly have the workforce to spare if we get rid of one or two houses uh cool so that's working now. That's operational. Appetizers, entree, fish and meat, of course. Then. Production buildings require a workforce, right? Well, restaurants require us tourists as customers in the same way. If a restaurant has too few customers, the need will not be fully supplied, and the benefit to regular residences will be reduced. So quite an expensive upkeep building, generally speaking, negative 450. Um, we're already making four the times chefs that have talent. I must say the Archduke schnitzel is delectable. She's loving I it. I presume other dishes are soon to follow. So yeah, because we have the restaurant here, the stable uh, the um, the need is stable and we get 25 extra tourists and some extra coins. So the next thing up is jam and orchards. I'll probably set this up on a different island. Um, we could set it up here temporarily. I, I, in the stream, I actually just set it up on these open areas here. Which look quite nice, but ultimately I probably want to use that for something else. I actually originally thought that's where hotels would go, but I think they might look a bit weird there. Um, maybe. I would like to know if the food I'm enjoying at the restaurant is fresh produce. Maybe not, actually. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of that. Ultimately, like I said, we need 10 hotels. And I think at least I probably want to put about 4 
next to the Empire Tower. So there's three there. Maybe we could have one, two, three, maybe even four here in a line. Was maybe even five. As a sort of a long line promenade into the city, you pass all the hotels. Maybe an open entrance to get into the Scholar area or something like that. It could look quite cool. I guess we'd need to see it, but that, that might work. So there'd be three there, maybe four or five there. That'd be eight. And then nine, ten up here. Or we could, you know, swap some of these things around. We'll have to see. Uh, the tourist is curious uh, as to the provenance of the restaurant's ingredients. I'd like to know if the food I'm enjoying at the restaurants is a fresh produce. Come. Where do you normally take all your foodie tourists? This is why Show I hate me. her. Is it organic? <laughs> organic. Uh, Nova, Nouvelle Cuisine. Ors d'Auver. Hors d'oeuvre, sorry, hors d'oeuvre, <laughs> hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre. Uh, the tourist eagerness to discover your city's culinary na culture is undampened by the limitations of the current menu. Have an eating well, eaten well. She is now insisting upon a tour of your restaurant's wholesale food supplies with a particular interest in sustainable and naturally sourced ingredients. Select the building producing food to showcase its wholesomeness to the tourist. The tourist has a distinct preference for fresh produce and spirits. Uh, grapes? Excellent choice. Oh my, the wine. I do believe I've overindulged. But that Damn. wine, that vintner, is simply delicious. That's cool. She actually, that's actually pretty cool. She talked spirit, about what I clicked on. Fair. Come, grab a bottle. Let us call upon Dionysus's fecund inspiration. Invent a recipe. A meal is not simply sustenance, it is flavor and experience and exaltation of the land and its people. A rich main course is essential. Intricate gastrono gast gastronomic, I, I feel like I'm not saying that right, but I know the word. Ideas are expected, yet dinner guests must also have a sensation of warm and comforting hug from their first mouthful. Savory aromas, textural contrast, ideally with a meaty heart, do you understand? Meaty, there's game and cattle aplenty here. Meaty, you say? What of seafood? A healthier option, surely. A competitor's island yeah, withstood an attack. Excellent idea. Maybe with a side of something tangy. A note of sourness? Smoked, perhaps? Unless you'd rather an actual fish rather than seafood. In which case, I'd recommend something sturdier, like mashed potato or durum wheat pasta. Um, I, oh yeah. Embesson lobster, smoked under a cliche with a dash of lemon. The fragrant aroma of sweet braised lobster. The cliche lifts like a theatrical curtain for the magical reveal. A perfect lobster chimney. I don't know how to say any of these words. And frankly, I don't want to know. <laughs> okay? Excellent choice. I shall inform your cooks immediately. I beg your part. Hey, you got another DLC. Achievement, I mean. Experimental chef. All right, lobster chimney. So if we have a look, if we jump to the recipe, that's going to take lobsters, tobacco, Come. and citrus. Ought to be trying our new creation. That's Supply then going to reduce beer, chocolate, and rum. At Herman's a German. <laughs> equip the lobster cheminée in your recipe. Oh, we won't be able to make it though yet. I could equip it for now, but I don't think we've got what we need. You know, I mean, we obviously don't. We don't have the um, citrus. Reach the following productivity in your restaurant 70% with the lobster cheminée. Well, we'll switch back to Archduke Schnitzel, and then we've got our first job is to get this lobster cheminée done. Uh, now, we were making some ships. One of them's made. This one is not. Probably going to need another one, actually, to set up all these little yeah, routes. Yeah. There we go. So, gonna add this one on to. So, we have Folgers, Kenko, and Nespresso, another coffee company. Um, I have no idea. Uh, let me actually, I'll just uh, look one up on my phone real quick. Ship constructed. Coffee brand. Coffee brand. Um, let's see. If we jump into. Coffee Roots. So we have Kenko, Nesca Nescafe, and Folgers. Hmm. Well, weirdly, I'm not seeing that many. Or at least the ones I've seen, I've absolutely, I've never heard of at all. Surely there's more than just four that are, like, well-known. Um, Nestle, apparently, is one. Folgers, as well, came up. 
God damn, just show me anything, really. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. I gotta name one now, though. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. <laughs> There's one called Effing Strong Coffee. Uh, I'm so sorry, I don't know. There, here's one that just keeps popping up. I've never heard of it. Dewey Egberts? Let's do that one, then. I like to name these things. Hold the crane. I want to get better in the habit of saying less stuff for now, you know. Oh, we'll just leave it as starfish for now. Uh, so this one's called Dewey Egberts. I'm sorry if you guys are screaming coffee brands out there. I was trying to think Shroud, the streamer, is sponsored by a coffee brand. I was trying to think of what that one's called. Uh, anyway, we want to add that to our route. Just to fix that one up. Uh, looks like it... There it is. Only and then this in. is going to be our first ship dealing with tourists. So we'll just call it Tourists for now. And we'll probably just send it to Enbasa, because that's probably where it's going to start. Rock Lobster, of course. It was obvious all along. Rock Lobster is our island here. We have an airship that's going to need to deliver, actually, um, some wood. Where's our... Uh, there it is. Our really ornate uh, airship. Our Enbesino ship. Airship. Sorry about the frame rate. It seems particularly choppy right now. When I was streaming it, it wasn't at all, but I'm, I'm guessing it's the added um, recording that I'm doing here. So I normally stream from a different computer. Alright, let's go. We got our mud bricks. We got that. Let's head over to Rock I Lobster. And let's get building. So, basically, we can lay this place out. Uh, what is it? 35? I love his accent, and I nearly did it. But I feel like if I did it, people would be like, well, you can't do that accent. But it's like, I really want to do it, because I think he sounds fun. <laughs> I'll do it in my own private time, to avoid any um, allegations. <laughs> How about that? Uh, Alright, so, three of these? We have the workforce for three extra, so let's just crack on. We can only do one, okay. Uh, let's tuck this in here. The city is starting to so this place doesn't have any dried meat if I recall correctly. So let's just start laying that out. A Sanga farm. A thank you for all you've done. Is that it? I need five. I'll have it back soon enough. Oh, my cat has just jumped up. Um, so, Sanga farm, then we need one... Uh, what is it? The salt thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Let's, I don't know. Let's tuck that in on that side. Okay. And then we'll need the actual dry house itself. Okay, something as simple as that. There she is, the Hikosen, which was actually named by one of our viewers a long time ago. Okay. So they're good to go. Oh, no, they're not. No, they are. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever noticed um, that variation to the building before. It's actually quite nice. So that's going to drain our workforce a little bit, but they should come back up now to full full tilt. So what do we have? 540 in total. So that means we're going to get at least 70. What are we lacking? So we're on 530. We're lacking 90. So yeah, we can make three more if we just also um, put down like one or two houses. I love that music. broke out. Oh, wished. There's no fires anywhere. <laughs> what did that say, actually? Damn, I got rid of it. Also, it still says seven notifications, even though I've cleared them all. Not a fan of that. Please fix that one, unless I'm doing something crazy wrong. I hate it when there's certain apps on my phone where you know you've looked at, like, all that just flashed something, and now it's all gone. It's because the filters are off. I don't know. Anyway, certain apps on my phone will say, like, you know, 
you got like a little red dot on this app and you click into it and you look at all the notifications, you read all your emails or whatever and they still pops up there. Makes me want to delete the app, I guess. It's a bit sad, working alone. Uh, it is with that attitude, mate. Ever I'll just what it would be pause like. your building and that'll fix things for you. So they should start growing pretty soon. If we just check then consumer goods, they've got plenty of that, plenty of that, plenty of that. They're fine. Okay, great. Awesome. Altitude stable. Off we go. Anyway, yeah, so the reason we've set this up is to overproduce lobsters here by quite a lot. Um, and I believe this island here actually has tobacco. Tobacco for days. Uh, agricultural products. If we scroll down, there it is. Yeah, loads of tobacco because we bring it in from the New World. So we'll just set a little um, threshold of always leave it with 250, half the stock that's available to us, and then we'll make our first trade route that's going to bring back the lobster chemony thing. So trade routes, we're going to go to Rock Lobster, then we're going to hit Tabarine. And then we're going to hit the old world and just go straight to swords. So we're going to start loading up at rock lobster. Quite obviously lobster, which I think isn't. Let's just do that. Invesa. There it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Load 100. Hopefully you can handle it. Then over here, load up the agricultural product of um, tobacco. <laughs> And then unload it all at swords and then go to the new world where you're going to be picking up citrus. I'm just trying to think, is that a good idea to do now? No. Citrus, I think, is used in the chemical factory. So you could stay in the old world and just pick up the citrus at Lusk. Before you make your journey back up. I guess I could get some other ship to do that, right? So if we name this route and just keep it going between these two areas, it's probably best. Maybe we can add on more to it in future or something. If, if we need something else from there. I'm, I'm guessing you probably do. Um, so, we have... Where's that ship that just had the name T? It's not on the list. I'm assuming it's between sessions right now. So this route is going to be... Um, well, we could actually name it a bit different. Dish. Lobster Shemini, or whatever it's called. So... At least that way I always know now. We'll create a new group called Dishes. Create a new group. Just accept it. What's it? New group. There we go. So, rename group. Dish. Um, yeah. Tourist. Dishes. Okay, so we're just waiting for that ship to appear. Um, I'm just trying to think how's, what the best way to find it is. Let's just quickly hop back over to Lusk and just queue up another couple of ships. We are keen to be back to speed. That was so loud. So if we just hop out to the world map, we could probably find it. Let's see if it's on its way. It shouldn't take too long. Texaco, Devil May Care. Hmm, I don't see it. Maybe it's already made it? I'm so sure I sent it. Tourists. There we go. Maybe it was in the list and I missed it. I don't know. Um, there we go. Finally. Okay, cool. So, that's going to start at Rock Lobster. Picking up Lobster. Um, I wonder could I wait to unload? Wait to load even? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. No, I'll, I'll leave it. Okay, cool. So, Rock Lobster, almost up to speed. Should be, um... Yeah, why is it so low? Did I count the population wrong? They're taking ages. What do you mean you haven't got any dried meat? Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to, um, build this. There we go. That'll fix things. So I'll just activate that. They're going to go into slow mode for a while, but it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so actually, on trade routes, before we'll start this ship, this route... Where is it? Tourists? Let's just pause it right before it goes to pick this stuff up. Let this place produce just a little bit more. 
What's it got right now? 33? Yeah, we'll just let it produce just a little bit more. Gonna hop back over to the old world. And uh, we're gonna start laying out some extra bus... Um, uh, bus stops. So we can see where we're gonna put things. So I know that we're gonna need one next to the World's Fair. It's all about where we're gonna put it, though. Ultimately, I could just tuck it in over here. I think coverage of the World's Fair is pretty global. Like, I think it's fine to, to reach everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are short? Okay, so we've created this little gap here for the tourists. We can create a little bus stop next to the supply warehouse. Maybe a bit weird having it next to the supply warehouse, but... In fact, it is weird. Although, that's eh, fine. Whatever. And then, yeah, maybe a souvenir shop here also. I feel like another little wall separating this. If I could push it further, I just I can't, unfortunately, with the way the we're right on the edge. Hmm. Yeah, I think it'll just have to sit there. Huh. It would fit right next to the cliff. <laughs> ah, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. I'm being picky. All right, um, so we could check the range of that. Left ruins behind. It actually goes really far. So again, we could just stick another one. What do they want? Oh yeah, coverage of the zoo. So there's actually a really nice spot right here that we could place it. Does that cover it? Oh, it actually doesn't. Damn, I was really hoping it would. We'd have to have it somewhere like... I might push push that zoo further back and embed this, um, the bus stop in it. A bit later on. So if there was a driveway leading up. Holy crap, the amount of people here. Now ideally what you'd want to have is have one big zoo. Because then it's reach through bus stops will go a lot further. And I actually experimented with combining them up. I had said it during a stream that I was going to basically attach this road to there. Oops, didn't actually mean to do that. And then um, make this the place where the zoo entrance is. And get rid of that road. And just have like a really large zoo. But I couldn't make it look good. I tried it for ages to make it look nice at one bigger zoo, and I honestly think it just looks better when it's separated. Um, so I'll try to figure it out. But obviously, if you want to get full hotels, you need a strong zoo, like a really powerful one. And having two together doesn't matter. It still just considers it as one. It doesn't combine the attraction value of both. Basically, I didn't even mention, the stronger the attraction value, the bigger, it, the, the further it'll go through multiple bus stops. So at this one, it'll be 100%. Maybe at this one, it'll be like, you know, I don't know, 75%, and this one would be at like 50% for di because of the distance. But if your zoo is really, really, has a really high attraction, then instead of, you know, 100, 75, 50, it'd be more like 100, 100, then 75. You know, it'd have like really good range. Um, so that's part of the challenge of making things look a little bit better and, and, and stacking um, zoos together. Um, I suppose there's also a spot there. Does that work? Again, that doesn't reach both. It reaches one. So we'll just leave it like that. I mean, this gives us coverage. The bus stops are connecting to this one, so that's good. So we ultimately need a bus stop somewhere over here. So I'll just lay one there for now. Because it's probably going to move, but at least it connects up to the World's Fair. And then we'll need one down by the Docklands. Um, so there is actually room, I think... Yeah, there's just some room, like, here we could place it if we wanted to. Just trying to think where it could go. So still kind of segregate, or separate. Because segregate has kind of negative connotations. I mean, separate uh, these guys. Then put the bus stop right there. It does not look that good. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. I'll think about it though. I don't like leaving 
leaving things like that. The, I wish they fixed the key roads, the way you could just choose whether or not it's a key road or not. But, I mean, I know it's a bit more complicated than that. Like, this area looks so nice. It's a shame that the radius here just wouldn't reach over. Actually, I think it... Oh, it does. It does. Oh, so close, man. The anotourism thing. Right there. It's just like a tiny tile away. All you need to do is cover any part of the Docklands that's fully connected. This part doesn't connect. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's so damn close. We can't put it there. This is key. So if it's if it's part of key area, then it just can't fit. So this is the furthest up this, this part could reach. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, I'll leave for now, but I'll think about it, you know? Alright, so let's have a look at what our bus stops are covering right now. So if we just select back where the hotel is, our current botanical garden is giving us a 96%. And that's because it's all the way down here. And it's a pretty strong botanical garden, but there's actually room for slightly better stuff if we put higher attraction value things in there. 96 is pretty good. But by the, if we were building house, hotels up here, yes, it would not have that much range. Um, but s separate botanical gardens might help that. Anyway, um... Cafe, nope. So the zoo is actually only at 66% for here, even though it's the bus stop's right there. It's pretty close by. But yeah, it's just obviously, I guess, a zoo of 423 attraction just is not that much. Um, now, for a lot of this stuff, it doesn't actually quite matter. The ones that do matter would be the bar, the cafe, and the Iron Tower, and the public memory and the variety theater, because that's actually your needs. But the happiness. It's not a huge deal if you don't get it. It just gives them extra money and stuff. So it's not a huge deal if we can't max that out. But obviously the ideal the ideal situation would be that we do. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at our little trade route. We can jump back over to Mbesa and continue the route. Only reporting in. Let them do their thing. Let's see how many we're going to pick up now. So they're gro they've grown again, which is awesome. And consumer good wise, or sorry, what would you see? Stations. We picked up 31. Not that much actually, considering. But um, we can actually make another one of these. Ship constructed. We can upgrade that. And you know what? Just build another one of them here. All right, soup rock lobster is all about the lobster. All about the lobster. So how much are we producing now? Um, eight tons per minute. Now some of it, not actually that much, goes off to uh, Tabarine. but it's only we only have a ship with one slot dedicated for it, like a, a slot of fifty. So it always picks up pretty much 50 when it gets to this island and then delivers it because it actually hits two other islands first. So for those who don't know that particular route, I could just look it up really quickly. Lobster. This route. So it goes from Tabarim to here, Tabarim to there, Tabarim to there. So A it has three different journeys. Is under One, two, siege. Three. One, two, three, four. Five different stops before it actually even gets to, like five different loading and unloading before it actually picks up those lobsters. And it only picks it up once. So. That totally satisfies the island, so that's fine. So that's why I've decided to go to this island instead of going to the other one. Because uh, we could just pick it up directly here, and we've set a minimum, right? Or if we haven't, we should set one now. Yeah, so I'll set a minimum of... I guess I'll set a minimum of 50. Now it'll take a little while to grow that over time. Okay, My did I fix the coffee is issue yet? No. Why? <laughs> Fully loaded with coffee, fully loaded with coffee, fully loaded with coffee, fully loaded with coffee. I'm expecting some thick coffee runs. We've got a ship that's just, I don't know what it's doing. What's wrong with Folgers? Where are you going, man? Oh, I know what it's doing. Its input point is there, so that means it's traveling up. That's so strange. Doesn't it just come in that way? I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know if there's a new bug or something, but I've never really seen that before. It's just heading off course. You know what I mean? Like, where are you going to go? You're supposed to... The next destination for this ship should be swords. 
pause the route and look at it. Just yeah, Only okay. Reporting in. I've paused the route. Okay, cool. Let's play the route again. And it's gonna go that way. An explosion in one of your factories. I don't know what to do. Take it off the route and put it back on. Seems weird because then it's gonna try and pick some up again. I'm kind of curious. I've sped up time. I just want to see what happens now. It's gonna go to the edge of the map. We're at the very corner here. I mean, this is zero. I, I, it looks like it's going to the world coordinate of zero zero or something, maybe. Oh, it went off. What the hell? No. God damn. That's a problem. What about the other one? This one's about to deliver, so that's good. It didn't actually fill up, though. I mean, it's supposed to hit um, 300. Well, at least we're about to get a big batch. Hopefully, the other ship will just fix itself. Maybe me turning it on and off. Reset it and it's gone back to the new world. I don't know. Where are you going? New orders. Good. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna go by, go past the place. Uh, that's okay though. <laughs> I would have freaked out. It's like none of the ships would actually deliver their coffee. Oh, did I make a mistake? It's not dropping it all off yet. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right. Hopefully that'll fix it. Anyways, uh, so jam. We haven't actually gotten any tutorial about setting up an orchard, um, so, but let's just do it while we're waiting for our lobster cheminade thing to arrive. Actually, didn't we need citrus to do that? Yeah, we do. But you can't get citrus until we hit 12,000, or sorry, 1,250 um, tourists. So that, I mean, how am I supposed to... I guess let's just keep progressing then. Um, yeah, so let's set up an orchard. I'm going to set it up over here, because there's lots of farmers here. Um, I've never, I haven't needed these in a very long time, so it's time to say goodbye to the hops farms of old. And actually, meat we do need later down the line. So I might leave that for future, um, but these can go. Um, yeah, maybe I'll lay out a bit of a nicer orchard in future, but I think... We could just have a pretty evenly spaced out. They don't seem to have much... If I was to just set this then like this. So that's a hundred even there. It doesn't seem right. I should have measured it or something. I don't know how far we've gone. Withstood an attack. Okay, so with an orchard, it's a multi-factory, which means you select what it makes. But in the old world, it only makes one thing: jam. Um, so determined to preserve and grow some of the genes indigenous of the old world, authorities have a. a apportioned land to selectively seed and prune the trees most needed and loved, and ultimately those whose souls must be harvested for the human experiment. Jesus. Alright, I'll go with that. Thick and colorful jam blended from a variety of fruit, including cherry, for optimal breakfast and conditioning. Alright, so they're done. Three orchards. To be honest, we can make even more, couldn't we? So let's just um, copy this area and just flip it over. still 100% there, so I assume that's fine. It's not telling me what the one on the right is. Sorry about this. I just want to get this right, because otherwise I'm, I am going to have to redo it. So three, and then one tile across. Okay. I don't know why this one's on 99. Maybe because it's just too... I didn't leave enough space. Something like that then, maybe. It seems... I'm sure you could probably fit these closer. But, you know, I feel like I'm time constrained a bit. So that's 100%, 100%, 100%. Yeah, there. Okay. Let's do that. And then we'll just make a road cutting across. And a couple of um, things. So 
Probably should have a nice little orchard patch there. I wonder what happens actually when you paint. Oh yeah, people did say, or I did point it out in the stream actually, when someone asked, if you're making uh, like a timber, uh, a lumberjack hut, and you know the way it has to like grow and take a while, you can now just basically just paint it down. Ship constructed. And it should be good to go. Hmm. It should be. Yeah, it's good to go now. Okay, cool. Just a little tip if people wanted to, uh, you know, maybe just before you put down those, just throw forest down and then when you put it down, it's it's done. Alright, we can see some of the trees starting to pop up. To be honest, we sh I should, probably should have gotten rid of the entire um, planting area. I just wanted to look all pink. There we go, little baby trees are popping up. Alright, cool. Um, so this place is going to be making jam, and then in the new world, we're going to be making something like uh, citrus. But like I said, I can't actually get to that for a while. And my game is completely frozen now, as has my recording. Yet again, this also happened last time. We are on our last legs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, okay, it fixed itself. I guess that means it's time to end. I really wanted to get that lobster dish done, but oh well. We will have to see that in the next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. My PC is on its last legs, hopefully in about a week and a half. June 8th is when um, I should be getting my new one. And then no more problems. And I'll never miss a day. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. Hopefully, anyway. Um, all right. So thank you guys very much for watching. We're going to just jump straight into the next episode, leaving off, uh, continue where we left off, uh, continuing the progression line for Anno Tourist Season. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support recently. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.